systematics is nothing but the study of different kinds of organisms their diversity and the relationship between each other kingdom is the highest level of taxonomic hierarchy and species is the lowest level of taxonomic hierarchy the taxonomy is the method of classifying or grouping organisms into different taxa or units of classification such as kingdom phylum class order family genus and species Hello everyone a warm welcome to this session on class 11 biology I'm Dr Divya biology faculty Vidyashram school of excellence Mysore so in this session let us study about a small topic under the chapter 1 that is living world we shall study about classification of organisms and we shall learn about the mcqs that come under this particular topic so classification of the organism how exactly the organisms are classified we know that in this particular planet there are billions to billions of organisms that are present so if we don't group them it is very difficult to understand about it or learn or remember these organisms right like how in a country it is the country is classified or it is divided like we have a country then comes the states then in next comes the districts and next comes the villages so like that it is divided right so that easily we can understand about it likewise the organisms which are billions to billions together in number are being classified into different groups based on their characteristics either morphological or genetic characteristics and also phylogenetic characteristics so what is classification classification is the grouping of organisms into different categories based on observable character showing similarities which means nothing but morphology so when you look at an organism you can say this is a dog this is a cat this is a lion or you take a cat family wherein the tiger lion cats the panther all that comes in but when you look at it you can say this is a cat this is a tiger this is a lion this is a leopard it's a cheetah right how can you differentiate between these organisms it is because you know the characteristic you are able to see that particular organism right so that is nothing but classification so here the organisms are classified or categorized to conveniently study organisms and that particular categorization is called as taxa and the process of classification of organism into different taxa is called as taxonomy so we based on the morphological characters we have categorized the organisms into different taxa so taxa means it is the unit of classification like we have kingdom is one unit of classification or kingdom is one taxa species is one taxa so we have kingdom phylum then comes order then class genus so all that are the different taxa or units of classification so we'll study about that in the coming slides so the process of classification of an organism into different taxa or different units is called as taxonomy here taxonomy follows the basic process wherein how do you classify an organism it is a step by step process first you characterize them so what is characterization it is nothing but morphologically what all the similarities or dissimilarities the organisms have based on that you classify you group the organisms into different groups so that is first characterization next you go in for identification once you characterize you identify that particular organism okay to which group can you further categorize them into next is classification you place them under different taxa that is classification next after that finally you go in for naming that particular organism either based on the person who discovered that particular organism or based on the characteristic of that particular organism so taxonomy follows this basic step wherein characterization identification classification and finally nomenclature or naming is done so let's study about a small topic under taxonomy which is called as systematics so what is systematics systematics is nothing but the study of different kinds of organisms 
their diversity and the relationship between each other. So there are thousands to thousands of organisms that are present. You study about them. After studying about them, you get to know their diversity and you get to know what is their phylogenetic relationship between each other. So that is nothing but systematics. It is the study of different kinds of organisms, their diversity and relationship. So this systematics word was derived from the Latin word meaning systema and a book was written based on the different kinds of organism by Carolus Linnaeus and it is called as Systema Naturae. So Linnaeus was the publisher of Systema Naturae book. So next moving on to studying about taxonomic categories. So now you know what taxonomic categories are. Right, they are nothing but the different taxa that are or units that are present in a taxonomy or present in a classification system. So, different categories. So, classification is nothing but it involves hierarchy, wherein if you can see here, kingdom has the highest rank. Kingdom has the highest rank, and the lowest unit of classification is species because. Why highest? Because kingdom is larger, right? Say for example, India is a kingdom. Then in that kingdom, there are next classification. That is states are there. In that states, there are districts. In that districts, we have taluks. In that taluks, again, we have the panchayats, right? So like that, it gets classified from a huge, bigger thing. It gets classified into smaller, smaller, smaller units, right? That is why it is nothing but classification involves hierarchy, wherein you have rankings. Kingdom is the highest rank. Next come the phylum, next class, order, family, genus and the lowest rank or the last rank or unit of classification is the species. And each step represents rank or category. So each step of classification, you call it as a rank or a category and overall taxonomic arrangement is called as taxonomic category. So the way you arrange it either in an ascending order or in a descending order. So ascending order means from smaller to bigger. Descending order means from bigger to smaller right. So in the exam if they ask classify the organism or write the taxonomic categories in ascending order you will be writing it as from smaller to bigger, right? That is species, genus, family, order, class, phylum, kingdom is ascending. Descending means from bigger to smaller. Wherein kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species is descending order. So that is how it is written. And all taxonomic category together form taxonomic hierarchy. So we have the units of classification that is taxa. Each taxa represents or each steps represent a rank or taxonomic category. And the overall taxonomic arrangement is called as taxonomic category and all the taxonomic category together they form a taxonomic hierarchy that is either from lower to the highest rank or from the highest to the lowest rank. And each category is called as unit. I told you species is a unit, genus is a unit, family unit, order, class, phylum, kingdom all these are units and each unit you call it as a rank. And each rank is called as a taxon and more than one taxon. So taxon is singular, taxa is plural. So taxa is plural. So now you know about the different taxonomic categories. So we'll study about each of these one by one. That is taxonomic hierarchy of the categories we'll study. So the highest level of classification is kingdom. So we will start from the kingdom. So kingdom is the highest level of classification. Here organisms that belong to different phyla are placed under the kingdom. So we have two kingdoms in large that is kingdom plantae Kingdom Monera, they are very large, they are the hugest, they are the biggest, right? So therefore, it is the highest level of classification. Next comes phylum. Phylum, if it is animals, when you're classifying an animal, you call it as a phylum, you write phylum. After kingdom, you write phylum. If you're classifying a plant, after kingdom, you'll write it as division. That is the only difference there. So phylum or division. It is more specific than kingdom because here population of the organism will decrease. So that is why and say for example here if kingdom is animalia then phylum consists of classes of animals like phylum can be 
amphibians, reptilia, etc. And phylum chordata if they have notochord and dorsal neural system. So here, hope you have understood. So kingdom is animalia. So say for example, if it is kingdom animalia, then next division, that is next category. It, if it is phylum, then it can be either phylum, amphibians, reptiles, or you can call it as phylum chordata. Chordata means those which have a backbone can be put under phylum chordata. So it is more smaller than the kingdom. So after the phylum, here we have class. So all the related orders that are there, all the groups of animals that are related to each other or all the related orders are placed under the class. So all related orders are placed under class. Say for example, we have monkey, gorilla and gibbon. They all belong to order primata. Say for example, like we have kingdom will be animalia, then the phylum will be chordata, then the class here will be Primata. So, you have understood, right? And humans especially will be placed under class Mammalia. So, we have two classes, class Mammalia and class Primata. Next, moving on to order. So, order is a more specific rank than class. It is the lowest classification than the class. So, here families are assembled based on their similarities in characteristics. For example, I have given you Based on floral characters, plant families like Convolulaceae, Solanaceae are included under order polymonales. So, order polymonales are a group of plant species wherein the flower, say for example, under Solanaceae we have Solanum nigrum. If I take the example of Solanum nigrum or Solanum melongena for you to easy remember, Solanum melongena is nothing but its brinjol. So, convoluse, if you have seen a trumpet, so just like that, the convoluse flowers also look like a trumpet. So, here to look at the flower of convoluse is uh, it's different, and to look at the flower of solanaceae, both are different. They are entirely different to look at, but they have been put under the same order. Why is it so? Can you see here the family is different? But they have been put under the same order. Why? Because that is order polymonials they have put it under. Why? Because when you look at the stamens of this particular flower, you can see that the stamens are fully attached or they come attached along with the corolla. Because of that one characteristic which both the families like Convolulaceae and Solanaceae have, that is why they have put it under order polymonials. So next talking about family. So, family consists of a group of genera that share a few similarities. For example, families in the order carnivore include canidae and felidae. So, carnivores like order carnivora. Once again, I'll just uh, go in an order giving you a one particular example. Class kingdom animalia, phylum chordata, class mammalia, order carnivora. Family Canidae or Felidae. If it is a cat or a dog, order Canidae or Felidae. So, hope you have understood. Like that, they go on making the group smaller and smaller based on similar characteristics. So, family consists of a group of genera that share a few similarities, wherein they have put Canidae. All the dogs come under Canidae family. All the cats, that is even cats means the common house cat, domesticated cat, along with that tiger, lion, the cheetah, the leopard, the jaguar, the panther, all that come under felidae only. Because to look at, they are similar to cats itself. So that is why they are similar to each other. But order is different. So that is how. So here order carnivore, they come under canida and felidae. So example that I have given. Next is genus. So, genus is a group of species which show more characters in common. So, here for example, potato that is Solanum tuberosum and brinjal Solanum melongena. So, both are put under which genus? Solanum genus. So, here we have Solanum tuberosum and Solanum Melongena. 
Solanum tuberosum is potato. Solanum melongena is brinjal. Both are different to look at, but still they come under the same genus because they share some of the characteristics are similar in them. They are placed under the genus Solanum. Next, talking about species. So, species is the lowest level of taxonomic hierarchy. Kingdom is the highest level of taxonomic hierarchy and species is the lowest level of taxonomic hierarchy. Here, organisms are further distinguished based on their variations in morphological differences. They have given example here, Panthera leo and Panthera tigris. So, they come under the genus Panthera but their Species changes. So, if it is a lion, we write it as Panthera leo. If it is a tiger, we write it as Panthera tigris. So, now Panthera leo is just lion. Panthera tigris is just tiger. It has become even more smaller, right? Finally, we are talking about a lion, we are talking about a tiger separately. But when we talk about a kingdom, we talk about all the animals that come under the kingdom. So, that is how classification is done. From kingdom animalia or from kingdom plantae, we go on classifying the organisms into smaller, smaller groups based on their morphological characteristics. So, this was about the classification. So, now because we know about the different ranks or taxonomic categories, we shall move on to the MCQs that can be asked from this particular chapter that is with a small topic classification of organisms. The first question, the process of grouping organisms into convenient categories is called, it is called classification because it is not identification. Identification means just you identify by looking at an organism. Nomenclature means naming, binomial nomenclature means naming an organism using two components or two names. Classification is the right answer for this. Next is the scientific units or term used in classification or categorizing organism is tax or taxon. Species, genus, family. The scientific unit or term used in classification or categorizing organism is taxa. Why? Because species is a taxa, genus is a taxa, family is a taxa. So, you can't write these answers. All these are taxa only. So, taxa is the answer. So, the process of classification of organisms into different taxa is called as taxonomy. So, taxonomy is the method of classifying or grouping organisms into different taxa or units of classification such as kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. So, therefore, the answer is taxonomy. Next, the current sequence of taxonomy is. So, remember you had we had studied like what exactly is done in taxonomy, correct steps what is there. So, is it identification, characterization, classification or nomenclature? No. First, you don't identify an organism. First, we need to categorize it. So, this is wrong. Characterization, identification, classification and nomenclature. So, is this current? We shall look into it. Classification, characterization, identification and nomenclature. Next is nomenclature, classification, identification and characterization. So, here B is the correct answer because first we need to characterize them based on their morphological similarities. Then we need to identify them. Then we have to classify them that is under different taxonomic hierarchies and then we have to name them. So, this is the right order. So, therefore, answer B is the correct answer. Option B is the correct answer. The branch of science which deals with the study of diversity and relationship between organism is called as so, the branch of science which deals with the study of diversity and relationship between organism is called as systematics. It is not taxonomy. Taxonomy is nothing but giving or categorizing the organisms into different tax or units of classification. Biology means wherein you study the different life forms. It is biology. Zoology means you study about animals. It is zoology. So, here the correct answer is systematic. Next, System and Nature book is published by who was the scientist who published or author of Systema Naturae. So, this question was asked in February, March 2023 in the form of MCQ. So, this is the important question. It is Carolus Linnaeus. So, Carolus Linnaeus was the author of the book Systema Naturae. So, next question. A group of individual organisms with fundamental similarities is called. It is called as species like we have Panthera leo, Panthera tigris. Panthera pardus. So, all tigers are named as Panthera tigris. 
all lions are named as panthera leo all leopards are named as panthera pardus so therefore here individual organisms with fundamental similarities what are they called it is nothing but species so next a group of related species having more characters in common in comparison to species of other genera so we call it as genus so genus is the right answer here so a group of related genera with less similarities as compared to genus and species is so the correct answer here is actually family in the options it's not given but the answer here is family next the assemblage or grouping of families which exhibit a few similar characters so it is nothing but order so here what is order order is nothing but a group of families which show similar characteristics so related orders are grouped under the class so what is class it is a group of related orders so the option here is class next identify the correct sequence of taxonomical hierarchy so this question was asked in february march 2023 again so is it species family genus class order phylum so to know that we'll just write the order here first kingdom phylum class order family genus and species so if you are writing it the correct sequence of taxonomical hierarchy if you are writing it from ascending order then from smaller to bigger so we'll put an arrow mark like this from smaller to bigger so what is it it should be species genus family order class phylum kingdom so here which is the correct answer first should be so we have species here then we have genus then family order class phylum this is correct because species genus family order phylum is wrong because before phylum class should have come or after order class should have come so this is also wrong here species after species genus should have come so therefore it is wrong here also after species genus should have come but it is wrong so therefore option d is the correct answer next the correct biological name of man is now if you remember the, in the previous session we had learned about binomial nomenclature the rules how to write a name right so we have to guess here what is the correct one is this correct no why because the genus should always start with a capital letter but here it is starting with a small letter is this correct no why the genus should start with a capital letter and the specific epithet should start with a small letter but here it is a capital letter this is also wrong and here both the genus and the specific epithet genus is correct it is starting with a capital letter but if you see here the specific epithet is also starting with a capital letter which is wrong because the specific epithet should start with a small letter next talking about option d here this is the right one why because you can see here the genus starts with a capital letter the specific epithet starts with a small letter and it they are written separately with a gap in between and everything is correct here it is in italics everything is correct and also here option a was and option c is not in italics right or if it was not in italics also either underlining should have been there like this but that is also not there so it is wrong so therefore option d is the correct option so this was about the session wherein we learned what uh, classification is is and we learned the different units of classification and also we studied some of the mcqs that come under this particular topic that is classification of organism so i hope you understood the session so with this session the chapter the living world comes to an end so we shall meet again in the coming session wherein we shall take up with a new chapter that is biological classification and we shall study some of the topics under that along with the mcqs in different session so we shall meet again in the next session thank you